Well, if your Christmas list includes an e-reader, you might want to think twice. A new study finds that if you have switched to e-books, you could be making it more difficult to get enough sleep. Dr. Charles Seisler is one of the authors of the report. He is chief of the Division of Sleep Medicine at Brigham Young Women's Hospital in Boston. Good morning to you. Good morning. For a while now, it feels like we've been hearing, don't watch your lap, don't read your laptops, don't watch television, but e-readers seem like we haven't heard that warning yet. Right, well, people don't realize that the e-reader is emitting light directly into your eyes, shining it directly into your eyes, and that suppresses, that. basically it's telling your, your, your brain that it's daytime, and that suppresses the release of the sleep-promoting hormone melatonin, which is also an anti-cancer agent, and it shifts our circadian rhythms to a later hour. It makes it we found that it was tougher to fall asleep, mm -hmm. uh, and people were less alert in the morning as well. It decreases your rapid eye movement sleep or dreaming right. sleep. And um, so these are major biological effects, and, and we think that this is contributing to the sleep deficiency uh, that we have as a society. The oh. National Sleep Foundation, for example, found that 90% of Americans use some type of electronic device in the hour before bedtime. Yeah, I think we're, a lot of us are guilty of that. Uh, if Is this just um, disrupting sleep, or are there real health risks associated with it? Well, uh, the, we didn't study those health risks in this study, but other studies have shown that sleep deficiency increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. uh, increases the uh, risk of advanced prostate cancer and, and breast cancer, and, and colorectal cancer, specifically associated with the suppression of the, of the sleep-promoting hormone melatonin, which is also an anti-cancer agent and it stops uh, cancer growth. So, in fact, uh, night shift work uh, where people are exposed to light at night has been declared a probable carcinogen by the World Health Organization. It's, what surprised me about this, though, is I think we all have this notion that if you read, you somehow fatigue the brain and then you'll be able to, able to, to drift right. into sleep. Right, and if you, it turns out if you read a printed book, uh, then that does help you drift into sleep. And we found that, that the, the comparisons that we did with the e-readers were against the printed book, and the printed book didn't have these effects. Uh, but it was reading with the light shining directly into your eyes that adversely affected uh, these different uh, health parameters. So is the only solution here basically not to, to read these devices at all? Are some e-readers e actually well, some okay? Well, some of the e-readers don't admit light. They just use reflected light, much like a printed book. Uh, and also there are things that we can do to change the nature of the, of the light coming from the readers. For, so for example, uh, I just learned from Dan, the previous guest, that yeah. you can... <laughs> Our tech wizard, you can, yeah. Yes, exactly. That's what the green room's for. We want you yeah, to have exactly. chat and mingle. You'll so learn. he showed me, and this is, his, uh, this is his iPad here, you can actually reverse the screen. Right so that it's got a black background with white letters and that so will dramatically, that. probably more than 90%, reduce the, uh, Good the advice. light coming from the e-reader. Good advice, Dr. Charles Seisler. Thank you so much for being with us. Hopefully we'll all get some more sleep now.